How do you size your solar system? Solar System Sizing Guide. In today's video, I'm going to give you the numbers that you need, and then we're going to use those numbers to pick the right size inverter, the right amount of batteries, and the perfect size solar array. You're watching Taddy Digest. I'm Tad. Let's get started. Let's start with the numbers. Behind me, I have the four numbers that you need to know to size your system correctly. With these numbers, the system will size itself. Without these numbers, you can have an oversized or an undersized system. So let's go over each number and then we're gonna dive deeper on how to figure out each one. The first number that you need is your daily energy usage. This is your kilowatt hours that you use for your home per day. The second is your peak load. This is your kilowatts that you use all at once, your max kilowatts. And this, you're gonna use this to size your inverter. Number three is your days of autonomy for your batteries. How many hours or days do you want to just use your batteries to power your loads and your home? This is gonna be used to size the batteries. Number four is your peak sun hours for your location. This is gonna be used to size your solar array. Now that you know the four numbers, let's dive in on how to figure out each number. Daily energy usage, how do we figure it out? One way is to take your electric bill, look at the monthly kilowatt hour usage and divide it by 30. That'll give us our daily kilowatt hours. Or you can list all of your loads, your air conditioner, your stove, your fridge, how many watts each one of those loads uses and times by how many hours those loads run per day. I've got an example for you. We're gonna say that we looked at our electric bill and we found that our total monthly usage was 1200 kilowatt hours. Then we take and divide that 1200 by 30 and that equals 40 kilowatt hours per day. Now that we have our daily usage, now let's figure out our peak load. Now we figure out our peak load. That is how many kilowatts we're using all at once. So I've created a real life example here. TV, 300 watts, microwave, 1500 watts, well pump, 1000 watts, three ton heat pump, 3500 watts, indoor blower, 500 watts, fridge, 150 watts, freezer, 150 watts, lights, 400 watts. So this is what our three bedroom, single family home is using all at once during the day. Then we add all those together to give us our peak load, which is 7,200 watts, 7.2 kilowatts. Now we want to add our safety factor. So we take the 7.2 kilowatt times 1.25, which will equal up to nine kilowatts. This can be used to now size and pick out the right inverter. Now that we know our peak load, which is 9,000 watts or nine kilowatts, now we can choose the right EG4 inverter to handle our application. So behind me, I've got two of EG4's off-grid inverters. We've got the 6,000 XP, which does 6,000 watts AC output, and we've got the 12,000 XP. Both of these are off-grid inverters that EG4 offers. They also offer a 3,000 watt inverter. But we could utilize this 12,000 XP because it actually does 12,000 watts AC output. So this could be an option for our peak load. Now let's continue on and look at some other EG4 inverters. Right here we have the EG4 12K PV hybrid inverter. This inverter does up to 8,000 watts of output for the AC power. So we cannot utilize a 12K PV hybrid. Here we've got the 18K PV and this inverter will do 12,000 watts of AC output. So we could utilize the 18K PV hybrid inverter EG4 makes for our project. Now over here, we've got the Flex Boss. So we've got two different options. We've got the Flex Boss 18, and this inverter with PV can do up to 13,000 watts. And then we've got the Flex Boss 21. So with PV, we can do up to 16,000 watts with this Flex Boss 21. So we could use the 12,000 XP, the hybrid off-grid inverter. We could use the 18K PV. We could use the Flex Boss 18 or the Flex Boss 21 as our inverter of choice. Now let's size our battery bank. 
So how many days of autonomy do you want? You take your total kilowatt hour of usage per day, and then you times it by the amount of days that you want to be autonomous. So I want to use my batteries for one day. So 40 times one equals, of course, 40. Then we divide that by a factor of 0.85, and that gives us a total of 47 kilowatt hours of batteries. So if we want to be able to use our batteries for a whole day, we need at least 47 kilowatt hours of batteries. Now, let's say we want two days, right? We multiply the 40 times two, which would equal 80, of course. Then we divide 80 into 0.85, and that gives us a total battery bank of 94 kilowatt hours. So that's what size our battery bank needs to be if we want to be autonomous for two days. And then if you want to be autonomous for three days or four days, you do the same formula. But this will help us to be able to size our battery bank. Now that we know how to size our battery bank, and we know that for one day of autonomy, it's going to be about 47 kilowatt hours, let's look at EG4's options for battery choices. Our first battery choice is going to be our wall mount indoor battery, which is 100 amp hour, 5,120 watt hours. If we were to take that number 47, we would want to divide that by the amount of watt hours, and that would give us how many batteries we need. So if we take 47, we divide it by 5,120, we'd need about nine or 10 of these batteries for one day of autonomy. Let's look at another battery choice. We got the 280 amp hour indoor wall mount battery that EG4 makes. This is 14.3 kilowatts. So if we take that 47, we divide it by 14.3, we would need a lot less batteries than we would for these. This is EG4's all-weather outdoor rated wall mount battery. 280 amp hour, 14.3 kilowatts. If we take the 47, divide it by 14.3, you'll see about 3.3, so about three or four of these batteries would be perfect for that one day of autonomy. And the EG4 also has a newer version, and it's 314 amp hour, 16 kilowatt. So that's even more power. Here's another option, and this is EG4's rack mount type battery. This is the EG4 LL battery, and it's rated at 5,120 watt hours. It's a 100 amp hour battery, and if you want to figure out how many batteries you need, of course, use the same formula. Now we're going to figure out how to size our solar array. To figure out how to size your solar array, you're going to need your daily use in kilowatt hours. You're going to need your peak sun hours for your location. We're going to say that in our location, where we're located, it's five peak sun hours. Then we're going to take our factor of 0.75 and we're going to multiply that by our peak sun hours. So if we multiply five times 0.75, we get 3.75. Then we're going to divide our total usage per day in kilowatt hours, which was 40, divided by 3.75, which will equal our total kilowatts, our total size of our kilowatts of PV that we need, 10.66. Now we're going to round up and we get 11 kilowatt. So that's what we need for our total PV. Now that we know our total PV array size, it needs to be 11 kilowatts. I'm here with Paige from Signature Solar at the retail location here in Texas. Paige, can you run us through these solar panels, the different sizes? Yes, of course. So we have a variety of solar panels that we offer, um, and we have a few of them currently displayed within the retail store. This is a Zianshine 550 watt panel. It's a bifacial panel. We also have the Pramar 500 watt monofacial panel. So this one is single sided. Um, we also have one of the older panels that we used to sell may or may not come back but it's a very good panel option if you already have it it's a serious 415 watt bifacial panel and then we also have aptos panels which are um, one of the popular panels that we currently offer this one is a 440 watt bifacial panel and then we have a tail sun 405 watt panel that is displayed on a integra rack that would make it very convenient for you to get bifacial gain nice so if you guys take that 550 watt panel if you take and divide the total amount of PV kilowatt you need, which was 11,000 watts, by that 550, it'll give you the amount of panels that you need. 
Very cool. Thanks for uh, Very cool. giving us the rundown. <laughs> if you guys want anything solar, go check out Signature Solar, link in the description, and there'll be a discount code for you down there so you can save some money. Now you should know how to size your solar system. You know the numbers. You know the inverter choices, so you know which inverter is going to be best for you. You know the battery choices, so you know which battery is going to be best. And you know that there are different options for solar panels. You guys got to go check out Signature Solar. That's where I get all of my solar products and they rock. So check them out, link in the description, and check out the discount code as well so you can save some money. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned something. If you did learn something, let me know what it was down in the comments. You got a question? Remember, questions can lead to new content. But if you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are and let me know where you're from. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. You've been watching Taddy Digest. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.